The US dollar, the bedrock of the global financial system, is facing challenges. For decades, it has been the world's primary reserve currency, a symbol of economic stability and strength. However, recent developments have put this status under scrutiny. The Federal Reserve, tasked with maintaining economic stability, is grappling with soaring inflation. This inflationary pressure is not just a domestic issue but has global implications, affecting trade, investment and economic policies worldwide. This has led to a series of interest rate hikes, a delicate balancing act with far-reaching consequences. Higher interest rates can help curb inflation but also risk slowing down economic growth, impacting everything from mortgage rates to business loans. The economic climate is uncertain. Market volatility has become the norm with stock prices swinging wildly in response to economic data and policy announcements. This uncertainty makes it difficult for investors and businesses to plan for the future. Consumers are feeling the pinch of rising prices, and businesses are navigating a complex landscape. The cost of goods and services is increasing, squeezing household budgets and putting pressure on small businesses that are already struggling to stay afloat. It's crucial to understand the forces at play and take proactive steps to safeguard your financial well-being. Consulting with financial advisors, staying informed about market trends, and diversifying investments can help mitigate risks. In these turbulent times, knowledge and preparation are key to navigating the crossroads for the U.S. dollar. The Federal Reserve's primary mandate is to maintain price stability while fostering economic growth. However, Achieving both objectives simultaneously can be a daunting task, especially in the face of surging inflation. To combat inflation, the Fed has been aggressively raising interest rates. This makes borrowing more expensive, theoretically cooling down economic activity and curbing inflation. However, raising rates too quickly or too high risks tipping the economy into a recession. Each year, the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City hosts an economic symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. This event has become a cornerstone for economic discussions and policy announcements, drawing attention from financial markets around the world. This gathering of central bankers, economists, and policymakers provides valuable insights into the Fed's thinking. It's a unique opportunity for these influential figures to exchange ideas, debate policy, and set the tone for future economic strategies. The discussions here often shape the direction of monetary policy for the coming year. Recent pronouncements from Jackson Hole suggest that the Fed remains committed to taming inflation, even if it means slowing down the economy. This year's speeches and panels have highlighted the challenges of balancing economic growth with price stability. The Fed's leadership has reiterated their focus on controlling inflation, emphasizing that it is a top priority despite potential short-term economic pain. This hawkish stance has implications for interest rates, which are likely to remain elevated for the foreseeable future. Higher interest rates can affect everything from mortgage rates to business loans, influencing consumer spending and investment decisions. Financial markets are closely watching these signals, as they can lead to significant shifts in market behavior and economic forecasts. Investors and analysts are now recalibrating their expectations preparing for a period of tighter monetary policy and its ripple effects across the global economy. The housing market, highly sensitive to interest rate fluctuations, has been on a roller coaster ride. As the Fed hiked rates, mortgage rates soared, pushing homeownership out of reach for many. However, recent weeks have seen a slight dip in mortgage rates, offering a glimmer of hope to prospective homebuyers. While it's too early to say whether this marks a trend reversal, it's a development worth monitoring closely. Section 5. A Glimmer of Opportunity Undervalued Properties The current market dynamics characterized by economic uncertainty and fluctuating interest rates have created pockets of opportunity for savvy investors. One such opportunity lies in undervalued properties. Undervalued properties are those that are priced below their intrinsic value, often due to market inefficiencies or temporary downturns. Identifying and acquiring such properties can yield significant returns over the long term. Section 6. Navigating the Housing Market – Tips for Potential Buyers If you're considering entering the housing market, it's crucial to proceed with caution and a well-defined strategy. The process of buying a home can be both exciting and overwhelming, but with the right approach, you can make informed decisions that will benefit you in the long run. 
Start by carefully assessing your financial situation. This means taking a close look at your income, expenses, and any existing debts. Understanding your financial health is the first step in determining how much you can afford to spend on a home. Ensure you have a solid down payment saved up. A larger down payment can not only reduce your monthly mortgage payments, but also make you a more attractive buyer to lenders. Aim for at least 20% of the home's purchase price to avoid private mortgage insurance. It's also important to ensure you can comfortably afford the monthly mortgage payments. Use online calculators to estimate your monthly payments based on different loan amounts, interest rates, and terms. This will give you a clearer picture of what you can realistically afford. Work with a reputable real estate agent who has a deep understanding of the local market. A good agent can provide valuable insights into neighborhood trends, property values, and potential red flags. They can also help you navigate the complexities of the buying process. Make sure your agent understands your needs and budget. Communicate clearly about what you're looking for in a home, including your must-haves and deal-breakers. This will help your agent find properties that align with your criteria. Your agent can guide you to properties that align with your needs and budget. They can also provide advice on making competitive offers and negotiating terms that are favorable to you. Don't be afraid to negotiate. In a buyer's market, you may have more leverage to ask for concessions, such as repairs or closing cost assistance. Even in a seller's market, there may be room for negotiation on price or terms. Especially in a buyer's market, where there are more homes available than buyers, you have the advantage. Take your time, do your research, and make sure you're making the best decision for your financial future. Happy house hunting. Section 7. Diversification. The cornerstone of a resilient portfolio. In times of economic uncertainty, diversification becomes paramount. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Instead, spread your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities. Diversification helps mitigate risk. When one asset class is underperforming, others may be performing well, cushioning the blow to your overall portfolio. Section 8. Safeguarding your wealth beyond traditional investments. While traditional investments like stocks and bonds have their place, consider exploring alternative investments that can provide a hedge against inflation and economic downturns. Precious metals like gold and silver have historically served as safe havens during periods of economic turmoil. Other alternative investments include real estate, commodities, and cryptocurrencies. Section 9. Practical Strategies for Financial Security Building financial security requires a proactive and disciplined approach. Start by creating a budget and sticking to it. Identify areas where you can cut back on unnecessary expenses and redirect those funds towards savings and investments. Establish an emergency fund that can cover at least six months of living expenses. This will provide a financial cushion in case of unexpected job loss or medical bills. Section 10. The Importance of Financial Education In today's complex financial landscape, financial literacy is more critical than ever. Take the time to educate yourself about personal finance, investing, and economic principles. There are countless resources available, including books, articles, podcasts, and online courses. The more you understand about managing your money, the better equipped you'll be to make informed financial decisions. Section 11. Taking control of your financial future. The current economic climate may seem daunting, but it's essential to remember that you have the power to shape your financial future. By staying informed, making prudent financial decisions, and seeking professional guidance when needed, you can navigate these challenging times and emerge stronger. Don't let fear paralyze you. Take control of your finances today and build a more secure tomorrow.